Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about the MediaTek Helio P90 chipset and this was actually announced in uh, middle of December and in fact uh, to be very frank I was not expecting that the Helio P90 uh, would come out so soon because recently we saw the P60 and just a couple of months after that we saw the P70 but anyways we have the P90 chipset and I just want to highlight what are the new improvements and changes that we will see in the Helio P90 chipset in this video. So first let's talk about the chipset and here things have changed. Even the Helio P90 chipset is an octa-core uh, processor but now how it's divided is actually very different from earlier Helio P60 chipset. In fact it's divided into two parts. One is a dual core part and other is a six core part. So this is actually very different from earlier Helio P, ch uh, P chipsets and uh, the two core parts is actually the powerful uh, part that's based on the ARM Cortex A75 architecture and this can be actually clocked up to 2.2 gigahertz and the other six core which you could say is the power efficient is the uh, clock that uh, can be actually clocked at up to 2 gigahertz and is based on the arm cortex a55 uh, and also another new thing with this uh, uh, p90 chipset is that it has the new apu2 for enhanced ai uh, what do you say enhancements i'll talk about that uh, in the later part of the video but now moving to the memory which is also dependent on the chipset uh, this one also supports the lpddr4x ram and the maximum frequency of this uh, RAM can be up to 1,866 megahertz and a smartphone can have a support up to eight gigabytes of RAM. So smartphones launching with this chipset can have up to eight gigabytes of RAM. And also apart from that, it also supports the high speed UFS 2.1 storage. Uh, apart from that, the biggest thing that I've mentioned to this uh, chipset is the new APU Two, which actually has four times more processing uh, power than the previous MediaTek uh, Helio P60 or P70 chipset in terms of uh, AI. Uh, so it can handle AI tasks at ease. This P90 also has a new version of Core Pilot, which actually helps it to give the peak uh, performance, uh, longer battery life, and also operate at a lower temperature. And just like the Helio P60 uh, and the P70, uh, this chipset also supports the AI frameworks for the common ones like uh, TF Lite, Caffeine, Caffeine 2, based on the MediaTek's uh, NeuroPilot SoC, uh, so that developers can actually uh, make enhanced AI applications. And it also actually supports Google Android Neural uh, Networks API because of this enhanced AI actually can analyze actions and poses of multiple people in real time and can detect actually multiple uh, objects in a scene and this can aid in also low light uh, photography and bokeh pictures and stuff further uh, because of this enhanced ai it also aids you in photography and also the chipset actually supports uh, google lens uh, deep uh, learning facial uh, detection algorithm real-time beautification is also there and also seen uh, identifications like what we have seen in uh, flagship smartphone for example if you move from subject to subject it automatically uh, recognizes the scene to summarize i would say these are the uh, things that the ai acceleration does now moving to the imaging uh, this mediatek helio p90 chipset also supports camera sensors up to 48 uh, megapixel and can also uh, capture uh, what do you say video at 30 fps without any delay and also regarding slow motion it can uh, actually record slow motion up to 480 fps moving to dual camera setup which is actually very common these days again this can have a combination up to 24 plus 16 megapixel for dual cameras uh, what do you say combination and also as the new triple isp is enhanced it provides the real-time bokeh preview and stuff like we have seen in advanced smartphone and also apart from that it also ha has hardware image stabilization and real-time ai recognition for that uh, beautification face beautification and stuff and this actually works on images as well as on videos 
Now moving to connectivity, just like the Helio P60 and the P70, uh, the new MediaTek P90 uh, chipset also has advanced 4G uh, and reliable uh, connectivity. And uh, uh, it also actually has fast 4G LTE performance. And they say that it also has advanced IMS, which is actually supported by 150 cellular operators worldwide. So even if you travel internationally, then uh, this will have uh, connectivity. And also you don't have to worry about, uh, what do you say, Wi-Fi, it supports two by two uh, Wi-Fi AC and Bluetooth support up to 5.0 is also provided and just like uh, the earlier versions of the P60 and P70 this also supports uh, dual 4G VoLTE so you are actually covered moving to displays the Helio P90 chipset uh, also supports full HD plus resolutions and uh, screen aspect ratios uh, from 20 up to 21 is to 9 so you are covered with those modern uh, screen uh, aspect ratio to sum it up I would say the P90 chipset looks like impressive uh, mid-range chipset uh, from MediaTek and again it's a very powerful uh, chipset based on the uh, A75 and the A55 uh, based uh, cores but uh, also has a lot of new enhanced AI functionality thanks to the APU version 2 that we have. MediaTek has actually not uh, uh, as of now announced any specific products uh, about this one but uh, I've heard that uh, in the first quarter of 2019 we will be seeing some uh, devices uh, and smartphones having the Helio P90 uh, chipset and based on the past performance from the Helio P60 and the P70 I'm looking forward to test them out so what do you think about the Helio P90 chipset do let me know in the comment section below guys that's it for now for this video thanks for watching and if you guys are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video take care guys